Hi, this is Mark from the MSOE Center for Biomolecular Modeling. The following animation will show the molecular mechanism whereby insulin triggers the uptake of glucose from your bloodstream. Soon after a meal, the digestive system begins to break down the food you have eaten. The carbohydrates in this food are broken down into a simple sugar called glucose. As this glucose is absorbed from your digestive system into your bloodstream, your blood sugar levels increase. Your circulatory system then carries the glucose to muscle cells throughout your body where it is used to generate energy. And here's the important part. In order to get that glucose that's now in your bloodstream into your muscle cells, you need to have insulin present to trigger that uptake event. Insulin is a small protein hormone produced by your pancreas. As the concentration of glucose in your bloodstream rises, your pancreas senses this increase and is stimulated to release insulin into the bloodstream. The newly released insulin plays a key role in regulating the concentration of glucose in your blood, a process known as glucose homeostasis. The insulin that is now released into your bloodstream binds to the extracellular domain of receptor proteins found on the surface of liver, muscle, and fat cells. This binding triggers the autophosphorylation of the intracellular domains, which, in turn, phosphorylate a specific substrate signaling protein. This protein then phosphorylates other downhill signaling proteins, leading to an amplification of the signal at each step. This overall signaling process is known as a signal transduction cascade. One important consequence of this signal cascade is the movement of glucose transport proteins, called glutes, towards the cell surface. As these storage vesicles fuse with the cell membrane, the number of glutes present on the surface of the cells increase, allowing the glucose to enter the cell. As a result, the glucose concentration in the bloodstream decreases. The glucose is now inside the cell, where it can be metabolized to generate the energy in the form of ATP that is needed in all of your cells. And that is how insulin helps the sugar you eat turn into the muscle that you use.